Okay, now I'm going to show you how to never lose the ball in FC24. I've got the controls on the screen so you can copy exactly what I'm doing. And I think you want to, don't want to do is what my opponent is doing. See how my opponent is just running here with the control spin, trying to get away with it, trying to go for the shot. That's not what you want to do. The way you control a ball is by taking a touch away. Contrary to belief, you will never lose the ball unless you take the touch away. Now, why did I lose the ball in that situation? I just want to show you something very, very quickly. The reason why in this situation here, and I'm going to show you to keep it, you can see where did I take my touch. I took my touch towards that way. See, when I received the ball, the safest place for me to take a touch would be towards, towards you, but you look in the camera. But I took it like that. That is not a touch away. That is the most common mistake where people say, oh, no, I'm taking a touch away, but I'm losing a ball. You want to do it opposite of where this player is. So think of this white cursor you want above the opponent's head. You want to be doing it this way away. I'm going to show you. This is so easy. You're going to see I'm not going to lose the ball at all unless it's at an angle. Okay, so I'm going to show you here. Take a touch away. Take a touch away. Take a touch away. See that? Someone's coming towards me. No need to panic there. You see, I did, you see that situation though? You see what happened? I basically took a touch into my opponent. You see that? Into my opponent. Again, not going to panic. Going to win the ball back here. Again, see, I take, look at it. Look at the touch. Away, away. See that? Then once you get used to it, you can then try to maneuver into these spaces. And you can be like, oh, Neil, how do you get into these spaces? Is it some amazing connection? It's just not. Your body will control. Even if you've got someone like Dunn or Dabini, who's five foot five, take a touch away. That ball's going to be safe. Look, you can see you've got the board Lawrence here. I'm going to start running now. Don't run. Take a touch away. See that? Bad pass, but we got away with it. Take a touch away. Take a touch away. Take a touch away. Take a touch. Bad pass there again from me. But have a look at how I'm losing the ball. I'm not losing the ball because of me playing a bad touch. It's because of my passes. But when I incorporate it all together, the simple things of taking a touch away, not going to take. See that? Took a touch away. What happened? opponent fouled me i didn't lose the ball there my opponent fouled me what we're going to do it take a touch forward because we can because there's space there you see we're taking touch forward because there's space there. take a touch away and you can see here not going to panic take a touch away touch the right hand side i'm going to try to do this while i'm speaking although this is extremely difficult but you can see in this tight space i'm going to try to say where i'm taking a touch here down and you can see look i'm registering it before the ball gets to my feet you see that look at that my opponent cannot get the ball literally cannot get the ball i can here can go forward as well I can go into the box take a touch away here take a touch away not gonna panic take a touch away take a touch away take a touch away again and then i can then take the goal so you see although the passes all the passes in a situation are just regular ground passes right there's no l1 dribbling there's no i'm not holding the shield button to protect the ball i'm not holding the r1 button to keep the ball safe or strafe dribbling anything this simple left stick you will learn this in my fifa school series if you don't join my fifa school series you can do patreon.com forward slash no guides we've got a complete in-depth video i explain look at that dabinia five for five you can see here's a 71 depth coming in look at that take a touch away keeping it so simple the only time i will lose the ball now if i make a mistake and you can see if i can do this while i'm speaking and trying to think about what i'm doing before actually doing it i'm sure you can do the same thing then take a touch away see that keeping the ball safe keeping it safe that keeping it safe bit unlucky there with the left stick movement for the being again lawrence keeping the ball and you see your body's naturally look my body's naturally shielding the ball look see that no need for l1 because what can over the shield button because look my body look my body's naturally shielding the ball you see that naturally shielding it naturally shielding it look at that naturally shielding no need for anything look naturally shielding again i'm just going to walk around wait for the opponent to give a commit look naturally shielding look at that that naturally shielding naturally shielding. look at that I'm not panicking look at that. that's my opponent spamming the well this normally happens in tutorials but this is an example of how you take a touch away um because I don't want my opponent to leave here. I might have just give him a goal. One him a uh, goal. I'm just gonna pretend here. Let this player chip it. I'm gonna let this go. Let pretend. Try, I'm trying my best to let it go. Um, but anyway, take a touch here. And you take a touch forward. Why did I lose the ball there? Have a quick guess. Why I lose? Why did I lose the ball there? I took a touch. I took a touch forward. And I'm just gonna let my opponent score here. Pass that. Come on, score. Thank you. Now, what I want to talk about. 
you see how I ran forward and I lost the ball. We're going to go through it again. Look at this. This is what everyone else has done. They try to run forward like this and like to me. No, I lose the ball. Every time I take a touch, I lose the ball. Why you should not run into the opponent. You cannot run into the opponent. Like here, people keep making this mistake by trying to do this. No, you can't. You can only run when there's space in front of you. When someone is about to overtake you, like see, I've got space. I'm going to overtake you. going to overtake me here. I take a touch away. See that? Then you can use left stick dribbling or whatever. Once you get used to that, you can start sprinting in between these like sprint touches away just to push the ball a bit further away. Got a bit lucky with that pass there under the feet. But he's taking a touch away. Look at my left hand. I say I'm maneuvering away from the white cursor. That white cursor, look at that. Look at my left hand. I say it's always going away. There's a bit unlucky. I was kind of forced to take a touch in that region because I had no choice because there was two players around me. And when it's two players, you should always go to the safer option here. It's going to defend the cutback there with the running jockey. Again with the build up, it's going to bring everyone close, put a bit more pressure onto us, making sure he's in the, he's in the right formation. Yeah, he's in the 4 3 2 1 here. Take a touch away. See that? Not going to panic. Not going to. Oh, not going to panic. There we go. Keep the ball safe. Don't panic. Let them break their first line of press. Not going to panic. Can I make the pass into the middle? No, it's risky. So I'm just going to go around here. You see that? Go around. If you can't make the pass, go around. Can I make a pass? Yes, I can. I'm going to do a through ball. Can I run it? Yes, I can because there's space. But my opponent's going to catch up any moment now. You see that? Oh, he didn't. Made a mistake. Tried to go backwards. Then I can go forward. Then I can go forward there. You can see I'm trying to run forward. My opponent, take a touch away. Ooh, played it risky. Look at that. Oh, how did how did my... wonder how my opponent lost the ball there. Let's have a look back. Let's just get this ball out of play. I'll try to get the ball out of play. And go for a foul here at this point, to be honest. <laughs> just to get the ball out of play. He's going to smack the ball at the goalkeeper. Um, let's go have a look. So, what did my opponent do wrong here? Let's have a look. So, you can see just over here. Got the ball over there. Touch forward here. Now, I guess my opponent was going to take a touch backwards, but they didn't. They took a touch forward and they played me right. Then you can see he got pushed into the corner. Look at this. The defender, Tenali, is right there. Okay. Why should my opponent be taking a touch? Where should my opponent have a look quick guess? That's a clock, yeah? That's a clock. 12 o'clock is over here. Where should my opponent be taking a touch? Now, if you said 12 o'clock, that is completely fine. But look where my opponent went. He went like 2, 3 o'clock. Straight into my path. Able to get the ball. No questions asked. It's because my opponent made that mistake. And that's what you're making. And you're going to say to me, oh, Neil, I don't do that. But do you? Now, how do I know you probably made that same mistake? It's because I've looked at thousands of gameplay. And people, especially when you're playing the game and you're frustrated, you think you're doing something, but you're not really doing it. One thing you have to bear in mind. So sometimes when you're playing, you might think you're doing the right thing, but go back and watch your gameplay. Have a look at your left analog stick. Is your left analog stick actually facing away? Do you think it's away? Look here, take a touch. Not going to panic. Take a touch away. Not going to panic. And this is what top tier players do. They, they take a touch away and they look at the radar. That's when they analyze the radar, when they take a touch away. Because they know here... Like I know with Gavardio, the ball is safe, I take a touch away, and then I can glance at the radar at the bottom of the screen. Now you're gonna, you might say to me, oh no, you know what, it's because you have X players in your team. Who? Tonali? Done? 4k. Tonali? 20k maybe? De Binia? I don't even know, 10k? Sun? 70k? Smith is a striker, so 80k, I think she's at, or Shirala's like 10k, she's free, that's 6k. 20k i think she's like 10k but it's not about these overpowered players i don't have amazing players but that is why agility and balance is important it's because agility and balance helps you move with the ball if you have someone that's a bit more clunky things can be more difficult is it better to have someone that's more clunkier to can protect the ball no because look even with smith i'm going to show you an example you might get the ball to the bean yeah, right she's the shortest person in this pitch look at that five foot five right as long as I'm taking a touch away, I'm always going to keep the ball safe there. The mistake I made is I took a touch into the opponent in that angle there. It was my fault. I was going to defend this here. And somehow, I don't know how, but that was a goal. It doesn't matter. We don't need this win here. This is just to record a tutorial. Um, we've already got what we needed anyway. But you can see here, look, take a touch away. I'm not going to panic. Look, and I'm, I'm going to be a bit more aggressive now because I know you're probably getting tired, sick and tired of watching this saying, no, I'll take a touch away. Now we're just going to Go a bit more aggressive here, you're going to play a bit more normal. And you're going to see me using a combination of knowing when to take a touch away. You can see that was a bad pass. Just ex excuse the passing because we're trying to play quick here. Um, but like you can see here, we'll take a touch away. Not going to panic here. 
One, two. Look at my left hand. I'm always taking touch away. Tricking that player there. Not the best of passes there. Going to get the ball up. Take a touch away into the space. Space four. Can I go forward? No, I can't. It's so going to take a touch upwards. Can I go forward now? My opponent's made a mistake, so now I can go forward. Look at that. Look at my opponent's just overcommitting there. You see that? See how my opponent's creating space for me to turn. I didn't want to turn there, so I wanted to show you. You see my opponent's tackling. And let's see if my opponent makes the same mistake again. So we're going to run, be aggressive towards my opponent. Let's have a look. What's my opponent going to do? This happens a lot. And this will have to give a lot of these games away because my opponent normally thinks I'm taking the mick or I'm playing very, very slow because no one, no one really plays this way. So every time I record these tutorials, these happen or people, someone leaves inside the game. Uh, this is the, the downside of uh, tutorial making, should I say. Um, but we're just going to, my opponent's doing the right thing here. We're just going to activate team press here. Just see if my opponent does the exact same thing again. So we're going to apply pressure. And you can see that's my left back. I'm not going to apply pressure on my left back, just committing. Look at that. Where's my opponent taking a touch? Oh, risky. Look at that. Take a touch. Oh, wait. Oh, see that? Look at that for my opponent. Did you see that? Not the best. Let's see if we can get a highlight of that. Let's just get this hole. Got saved by Saliba there. Somehow, I it forward. Let's have a look. It's actually a good way of testing my opponent. Look, you can see, look here. My opponent's gone forward. Nice. Taking a touch away. That's good. That's good. That's good. Got the ball back. A touch away. No, see that? See my opponent tried to go forward there. Did you see that? Let's watch that. See if we've got one more. I hope we've got one more replay. We can see if we can watch that back. Let's have a quick look. Fantastic goalkeeper movement, by the way, for my opponent. What a say that was a goalkeeper movement. Well, very well played. This is a good example of goalkeeper movement. Anticipated a finesse. But look, have a look at this. My opponent got the ball. What did they do? What you got to do is take a touch away here. Where should you be taking a touch here? I'm going to draw a clock again. Have a guess. Where should this opponent be taking a touch? That's 12. I want you to write down this in the comment section as well. This will be the second one. So I suppose you can say it. So if you've answered the question here to be around 2 o'clock, you are incorrect. It's 4 o'clock. You want to be taking a touch here because that will push the ball opposite to that player. But look at my opponent takes a touch. Takes it downwards. Almost into me. I like at 7 o'clock when there's no need to. And that is why my opponent was able to lose the ball in that situation. There, let me just clear the red marker on the screen. Oh, it's already gone. Same thing here. Okay, my opponent's taking a touch away. Let's have a look. So now we can actually test that. Oh, see that? Risky, risky. Risky. Took a, didn't even take a touch. Just basically stood on the ball almost. So again, oh, we're going to press. In fact, you know what? Let me turn this into a high-level pressing video because this might be a good way of showing you how to press on a high level. You're going to get support with this video. You're going to get a two and one. Now I'm going to let the ball go out of play actually to do this. I'm not panicking. I'm just going to show you a pressing video anyway while we're here. Again, my opponent got lucky there. But you see where that opponent took a touch? Look how I look where I lost the ball. Where did that take a touch? I took a touch to my opponent. Again, look, look where my opponent took a touch. Why is my opponent walking into me? Do you ever see any football in real life running into someone? Absolutely not. And okay, just get the ball going forward. Again, take a touch away again. Keep the ball inside. You can see, look here, running. As soon as someone comes near, we're going to stop running. See that? We're going to stop running now. You can see my opponent committed a foul there. We're going to play this quickly. Well, we try to anyway. I think I've lost the ball because I just spammed the X button. But like here, look, take a touch away. I'm not going to take a touch away. Get the ball there. Take a touch away. So you see that? We're able to take a touch away into that area. Um, and you can see with the Binia, you see how we took a touch forward. Then with the goalkeeper, we took a touch away there. I could have gone forward there, to be all, to all fairness, with Smith. But I was worried the goalkeeper was going to come out. So I wanted to beat the goalkeeper there in that situation. Again, look at my opponent. Let's go with a bit of a another nil guides one. Let's see if we can get this foul here. Fine. Oh, we've got no more pauses to make. I wanted to show you... Another example, another scenario one. But you can see my opponent took a touch the wrong way there. My opponent took a touch to the wrong angle. And that is how my opponent lost the ball. I think we'll keep the score like this. If we get a main clear chance, um, we probably won't score it. Uh, because you don't actually need a win. You can see there, I took a touch forward. I should have taken a touch forward. Again, took a touch away take a touch away l1 trigger now here i can take a touch with sun backwards now the, people ask me oh, when do i take a touch forward 
Well, you take a touch forward when there's space forward. I'm just going to show you an example here. One sec, we're just going to defend the situation. Just ignore what you see on the controller now. For so we just completely ignore the controller here. Now my teammate contain button has become circles. So just ignore the controller. On left analog stick touches. You see the L1 triggers. L1 triggers. You could touch forward there because if Sun got that ball and a ball went through, I could touch forward. But I took a touch the right way because I overcommitted. I kind of guessed what my opponent was doing, and that was how I was able to get into that situation. Again, take a touch here forward because there's no one. See, there's no one there, so I was able to take a touch forward. Again, look, I can take a touch forward here, guy. Oh no, I can't. I can't. Sorry, someone in the way. You see that? I take a touch to the top right. My opponent had to foul me to get the board. You see how I changed direction there? Very last minute, um, I changed direction there. Ball here, take a touch away. You can see down the wing here, take a touch away, not going to panic, take a touch away, take a touch again away. And you can see my opponent is running out with their centre back. Why on earth they're doing that when they're winning at 86 minutes? I have absolutely no idea. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you want to see more tutorials like this, check out my Patreon. So it's patreon.com forward slash nil, guys. Link is down below in the description. You can see a complete theory on how, how I explain take a touch. I want to show you on a tactical board where to do it every single time and stuff like that. I think you'll really, really enjoy it. And we also have, another, we have a couple of gameplay examples and clip examples of me showing you where to do it as well. Um, and I have time to score an own goal here. Yeah, if I score that, that was fine. Um, but... Thank you very much for watching. I hope I'll catch you next time. And I know it's pretty obvious for everyone else, but I had to give the game away to my opponent. I know some people always like to be, Neil, you lost in a tutorial. It's a tutorial. If I was playing serious, I would not even be speaking. And I would not be giving goals for any of you guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, patreon.com forward slash no guys to see more top tier videos like this. And I'll catch you next time. Peace out.